work of Penny Byrne and she confesses to be a bit of a collector. So over the years on the streets of Melbourne, if she finds something interesting or unique, a little piece of jewellery, a little trinket, she would sort of pick it up and collect it and keep it. And when she was um, invited to be part of this exhibition, she thought, well, look, I want to reflect something of my working environment that I'm going to be um, exhibiting. And she wanted to make a piece which was about Jack and Errol, the museum bowerbirds. And she placed all of her trinkets that she had collected on the ceramic piece. And she actually said that it had cured her of collecting trinkets. So she sort of thought, well, now I've done that and I've put them there and there for everyone to see. They're beautiful, but they've got a lot of meaning in them as well. The beauty is in the original object, I guess, um, but she changes that in a lot of ways. So this is two um, pieces of parrots or, um, that would have sat on somebody's mantelpiece many years ago. Sort of perhaps not regarded as art, really. And she's taken them and put them in a dome and then included lots of little items. And I think you could spend a long, long time looking at the items and seeing how they relate to the, the parrots. And I think she's trying to have a lot to say about um, the preservation of animals and hunting and the way animals are regarded. And all of her works are like this. As an artist, she actually takes these objects and breaks them apart and changes them in various ways that I find really exciting and interesting. And I was really thrilled to see one of her works here tonight in this exhibition. It's one of the key parts of the exhibition that we're looking at the display. When you go into a museum, things are set up in a certain way. And over time, as with the title Diorama, there were all these tricks that people used to do. The convention of looking at objects in museums, there are certain ways of doing things and uh, some of the artists in this exhibition have really utilised things like these glass domes. Certainly uh, Stephen Benwell's ceramics, he deliberately is relating to his experience of viewing objects in Greek museums and how viewing Greek antiquities in museums have influenced his own practice. And so I've, that's just how I make art, you know. I'd, I'd look at art books, I'd look at a Matisse painting in an art book, and then I'd go and paint a pot. This diorama has some more focused things which um, relate to a trip I did, the travel to Greece, Ex looking at the experience of museums there and the tourist kitsch. I love museums. I can spend my whole life in museums. I can spend my whole life looking into cases, looking at things. I think a Wunderkammer was another term they gave us. Cabinet of Curiosities, Diorama. You know, these were all things that really interested me. The whole thing of my art has always been about other art. The kind of fine work that people do for making objects in, the, in these cabinets is something I could never do, so I admire it, so I quite like to come and see it. I, I love this piece behind me. It is a very painterly piece and I, I very much like the painting that Stephen has done and he's, he's, he's scaled it up. Um, and I also, I love these little objects here that he's created that um, they look like they're from ancient Rome, but they're, you know, there's something quite modern about them as well. It's just beautiful. The colours as well are something that really, um, uh, that you're really drawn to when you look at it. And I love that the work there, that's um, the sculptural works in resin. They're phenomenal. I, I, um, I love those pieces because they, they kind of remind me of, um, of those, those drip sand castles that you make, but they're coloured and they, and they look like. They're made out of resin, but they look kind of like wax, like coloured wax, so they're really quite beautiful. Each cabinet is like a little world and, uh, you know, theatre is all about the setup and the prop and uh, some of the artists have treated their cabinet in that way. Uh, my name's Tamron Bennett and I collaborate with Jackie Cavallaro and Tamara Elkins. Uh, for a long while now we've worked together across a range of projects, um, most recently Wake and this work that Jackie's created here, the diaries, uh, that's 
part of an ongoing process. Yeah, I guess the whole theme of the diorama, it's really fitting for the type of work that we produce over a, a period of time, collecting little pieces. Um, in the process of writing a lot of the poems, they were, we were often surrounded by bones, insects. They've always been a theme within uh, Jackie and my work in, in collaboration and exchange, pieces of garden. And so tonight being here alongside of a cabinet of bones, and pieces of, of garden and clay and, and clocks, uh, doll parts. They're, they're always images that are informing our works in one way or another. Diorama, I, I always imagine museums. When you go into a museum and you've got the, the painted background and the stuffed Tasmanian tiger in front of, you know, with the fake bushes and things like that. So I immediately thought of a museum sort of set up, but not necessarily in that way. Um, so it was kind of like it was to be, I, I always loved in Canberra when you go down and you see the, at the art gallery, those lovely displays they have about the ballet russe and they've got the costume and the things from the actual performance. So it's kind of like a, a tribute to a performance that's in the past. The idea behind this work is with the clocks and the passing of time and the fact that clocks now, uh, you don't see clocks so much now because of the fact that everyone has a phone. So it's really about um, objects that are now becoming obsolete and the value and these particular things in these assemblages were very important to our everyday lives and these things are now all disappearing. Uh, and, and it's about memory. So I'm very um, particular with the, the uh, objects that I do collect. I don't just have a whole lot of junk at home. I'm very particular with what I place, with what, um, you know, all that really. And it, and it tells a little story. When the exhibition um, was in its early stages, I deliberately chose artists who worked in really different media. So there's a glass artist, uh, artist who works in wooden assemblage, an artist that works with cut paper, uh, there's two ceramic artists, someone who works in polymer clay and uh, an artist who works in, uh, with taxidermied animals and that worked really well to have each cabinet showing that artist's world and it is all very different because they work in different media. 